In this video, we will prepare the Statement of Owner's Equity and determine the balance at the end of the year, December 31st. Assume we're given the balance for the beginning of the year, January 1st, for Smith's capital of $450,000. That's the amount he has invested in the business. During the year, Smith withdrew from the business $50,000, most likely to pay his own personal expenses. And let's assume we previously did the income statement, that's revenues less the expenses, and Smith's net income was $75,000 for the year. We begin with Smith's capital balance at the beginning of the year, which is given at $450,000. We will then be adding in the net income for the year, which is given at $75,000. We will be subtracting out withdrawals, which is given at $50,000. Now notice that Smith made $75,000, but only withdrew $50,000 of it. We will then take the difference, which is $25,000, and that will increase the capital from the previous balance at the beginning of the year of $450,000 because he made $75,000 but he only took out fifty dollars of it. So the remaining twenty-five dollars will be kept in the business as additional capital. So I will add $450,000 plus the additional $25,000 as Smith's capital at the end of the year is now $475,000. That will be the amount that will be used when preparing a balance sheet. 